Before working with fuel gases or oxygen, be sure that an approved fire extinguisher is readily available. Ensure that the cylinder is properly secured. In Chicago, cylinders must be chained to the wall. In Evanston, cylinders may be secured by bench straps, floor stands, or chains. Remove the cylinder cap. Remove debris from the cylinder valve. Inspect the regulator and gauges for damage and debris. Look for defects that may allow a leak at the connections. Do not connect parts that appear to be damaged. Remove any debris with a clean, dry cloth. Attach the regulator to the cylinder valve outlet. Never force the connection. If the inlet of the regulator does not fit the valve outlet easily, it may indicate the regulator is not intended for use with that gas. Always check for compatibility of equipment and materials before using any compressed gas. Left-hand connections are used almost exclusively on flammable gas connections. Left-handed connections have a notched groove in the surface. Do not use Teflon tape or pipe dope on valve threads to prevent leaks. Never use oil, grease, or other lubricant on oxygen or other oxidizing gas cylinders. An auto-ignition or explosion could result. Tighten the connection with a smooth-jawed wrench. Turn the regulator's pressure-adjusting screw counterclockwise until it turns freely. Open the cylinder valve slowly until the inlet gauge on the regulator registers the cylinder pressure. If the cylinder pressure reading is lower than expected, the cylinder valve may be leaking. With the flow control valve at the regulator outlet closed, turn the pressure adjusting screw clockwise until the required delivery pressure is reached. Leaks can be detected by performing a pressure test or a bubble test. To perform a pressure test, close the cylinder valve after checking the regulator's function. If the pressure on the inlet gauge remains steady, there are no leaks. To perform a bubble test, use an approved bubble solution such as Snoop. Apply the solution near the inlet connection, the outlet connection, and the valve stem connection. If there are no bubbles, there are no leaks.